it's Brad. Hey, Brad, it's Brent. Uh, so I'm producing the Whetstone R&D 100 video, and uh, I think it's a really great product, but how do we communicate it to an audience? Sure. Uh, artificial intelligence is beginning to creep into all aspects of our lives, from transportation to manufacturing to cell phones to web apps. Whetstone allows any AI developer to take advantage of low-power, neural-inspired computing hardware, which will, in turn, allow more intelligent edge devices. Okay, but why can't AI developers just use what they've always used? Well, neural is a totally different approach to computing, and is really not compatible with anything that's come before it. Think about it like this. Traditional computers are like swords. They're great at what they're designed for. But if you're up against a distant target, chances are you'll come up short. Neural-inspired computing is a totally different approach, where a computer's processors are structured like the human brain. Think of it like using a bow with a sword. We're going the right direction, but they're not quite compatible. So often, a revolutionary technology requires revolutionary techniques for how to use it. And that's what Whetstone does. Does that make sense? Yeah, great metaphor. Much like the bow without arrows, novel brain-inspired chips may carry promise, but often struggle to impact society due to interface difficulties. In Sandia's Cognitive and Emerging Computing Group, scientists seek to make a modern-day revolution happen by making brain-inspired computing hardware more viable and useful. Brent, is that you? No, I'm just starting to work on the video now. That's our narrator. Oh, okay. Hey, Craig. We've been talking to our video producer, and we need to have some nice data showing what Whetstone is really good for. Do you have anything in mind? Yeah, let me show you some numbers. Power is really the limiting factor. Low power brain inspired platforms are popping up everywhere, but often only experts in the new architecture can use them. You typically cannot just drop in your own neural network solution and expect it to work. That is why we developed Whetstone. The fact is, the amount of energy required to keep up with AI methods has grown exponentially. Right now, when your smartphone uses AI, it's probably relaying everything to a remote data center and the power consumption of that data center can be enormous. But using Whetstone paired with neural computing hardware, we could be 100 times more efficient. And that means? In the future, we can have machine intelligence on embedded devices without being tied to giant, power-hungry machines. Because that's just silly. Sure is. <laughs>Hey guys. Oh, hi William. I didn't see you there. Yeah, so I was wondering if I could get your help with something. Um, with the video, I can't think of a good way to explain the whetstone method. The brain-inspired chips are pretty amazing. By processing information in a way similar to how our brains work, they can potentially do things that conventional computers haven't necessarily been able to do. One way that they're different is that the neurons in our brains, just like on these chips, talk to one another in a very simple, energy-efficient way. And by taking advantage of that, we might be able to save a lot of power compared to past approaches to computing. And that's true, but there's also the optimization side of things, and we need to mention that. See, in a neural network, there's thousands or maybe millions of artificial neurons. Each one takes in information, weighs it, and then passes it on to another set of neurons. And it's this hierarchy of neurons that provides it with its complex information processing power. On a traditional computer, the neuron's response is smooth, and then it makes them easy to train. But using the energy-efficient wiring of a brain-inspired computer, the neuron's response has to be jagged or discrete, and that makes them hard to work with. So the trick with Whetstone is we start with a smooth activation function and slowly sharpen it over time. This way, we can both train the neurons and prep them for hardware at the same time. That's why it's named Whetstone, after the tool for sharpening the edge of an eye. Right. Whetstone is a software tool that sharpens the output of artificial neurons and has enabled computer neural networks to process information up to 100 times more efficiently than the current industry standard. That's the narrator. Consequently, Whetstone helps enable intelligence at the edge, increasing the penetration of artificial intelligence into markets for mobile phones, self-driving cars, automated interpretation of images, and on-device intelligence.